Hello everybody and welcome. Allow me to introduce the Hyperscreen. To me, it's a milestone in the merging of analog and digital design. Do you remember this? Our Vision AVTR at CS 2020, we were talking about the merging of man and machine, making technology a true companion for our customers. It looks into the future and anticipates what functions the user will need next. For us designers, digitalization offers all kinds of new possibilities. We are merging design, technology and execution at a higher level. The Hyperscreen does exactly that, making our vision a reality. The glass instrument panel is completely new and is the largest freeform glass surface there's ever been in a Mercedes, stretching all the way from one door to the other. This is the jewel of the interior and a true work of art. It's also a great example of the fusion of digital and analog design. Three separate screens beneath one gently curved glass surface. It looks and feels like a single entity. The analog air vents are beautifully integrated above it and at the sides. The middle of those screens, the central display, is extra brilliant thanks to the latest OLED technology. The result is an electrifying look paired with extremely emotional visualization. As we love simplicity, we created a new level of MBUX user interaction. We call it Zero Layer. This means that all necessary information is always neatly arranged in front of the driver. You have all your information personalized and at your fingertips on the top layer. In fact, we created an interface where the car approaches the user without the need to go deeper into the submenus. We have also created a distinctive digital pattern for the EQS with different colors depending on the operating mode. You can see our use of design elements that appear like laser lights. These sharply defined digital pointers are not only clear and easy to read, they're also another fusion of digital and analog. Let me give you one more specific example. This is the futuristic design of the pure EV mode and its different interpretation of displaying key functionalities like boosting, recuperation or G-Force. We call the G-Force element the EQ Puck or Flying Saucer. And key information is easy to understand and nice to look at. For me, the Hyperscreen's clear minimalist design and strong anchor points make it intuitive and straightforward to use. That's what makes the experience more relaxing. And the calm electric ambience adds to that. In short, the Hyperscreen's design inspires a sense of simplicity and beauty. Hi there, I'm the new MBUX Hyperscreen and I'm here to assist you on many new levels. Now, you'll never have to worry about missing an exit. The navigation will always be on the screen, even if you make a call, turn on the massage or change the music. My artificial intelligence will also know which of these options to suggest on your personal screen, because I'm continuously learning. I'll optimize my suggestions based on your previous feedback and patterns, combined with parameters like time, location or temperature. I'm looking forward to talking to you soon. Hello everyone. The MBUX Hyperscreen reinvents how we interact with the car. It's stunning on the outside, super intelligent on the inside, it's the nerve center that connects everyone in the car, with the world, inside and outside. What you see behind is what makes the, this new level of user interaction so special. All the functions and features like charging, entertainment, phone, navigation, social media, connectivity, massage, and so on are clearly visible and available fully connected and adapted to one another as well as to the user. It's part of the Internet of Things and combines supercomputing power with artificial intelligence to create a totally unique user experience. Our goal 
was to create a UI that gives our customer direct intelligent access to all the functions they need in any given situation. In other words, customer-centric user interface. It has more screens, is even more intuitive, fully integrates the front seat, passenger, and all others. Its connectivity enables new forms of interactivity and individuality. During development, we looked closely what people need and how they interact with the car, especially with an electric car. It was important for us to create an interface that shall not add distraction or complexity. The result is the next level of fully intuitive user experience. Have a look. Life is full of great moments. And now all of these moments are at your fingertips. More intuitive. More accessible. and more innovative than ever. Thanks to a whole new in-car user experience. The all-new hyperscreen with zero layer function. There is a lot going on in there, right? The hyperscreen offers amazing functionality. You have apps, vehicle functions, navigation, climate control, and entertainment. The list goes on. We call it zero layer principle. It brings all the apps and functions into the fluid, proactive user interface. It uses artificial intelligence to make sure that the functions you need in any situation are automatically there for you. You have your own personal home screen with everything you require at your fingertips. That means less interaction, more convenience based on intelligence in here. You can activate the functions you need from one screen. The all important navigation map is always visible in the center. Beneath it, there are controls for the phone, entertainment, or the features that suits the specific situation. The system knows what you want and need. And you know what? That's why the zero layer is based on emotional intelligence. Why did we do it this way? We have been analyzing our customers' feedback since the launch of the first MBUX in 2018. 80% of the use cases are related to navigation, media, and phone calls. So we have made these easy to access through the so-called zero layer. The system learns with AI and adds more individual functions on the top as it's required, or places them in the background if they are not being used. In this zero layer of hyperscreen, MBUX also uses AI to process data sets such as position, temperature, and time. In its continual data analysis, the intelligent MBUX may notice that you are on a long journey or that you sometimes activate massage feature on certain routes or at certain times of the day. It simply offers a massage on the so-called zero layer on the main screen. Its intelligence also assists you with route planning and charging to help you get most out of your electric mobility experience. Lots of innovation is focused very much on the driver. But MBUX has something more for everyone in the car. There are innovations for all passengers, but especially for the one in the front, because the front seat passenger has their own screen incorporated into the hyper screen. We call it co-driver display. The content of this screen does not interfere with any other driver's actions. However, the passenger can help the driver with the things like navigation, music settings, or something else and they can also see all the relevant vehicle information. And there is even more in store for passengers. There are entertainment services with market-specific features. At the front seat of the passenger can share content with anyone else in the car. In some markets, it's even possible to watch the TV. 
on one side of the passenger car. Passenger can see and watch the videos while traveling by using the Bluetooth headphones, while on the other side, intelligent camera-based locking concept prevents the driver from looking at the passenger display to avoid distraction. And before you feel too sorry for the driver, they get a pretty attractive view too, all by less distracting. It has an exclusive EQ design and the same easy to use interface as it was introduced with the S-Class and together with the full augmented reality. So just to round it off, the hyper screen is a natural progression of the MBUX, taking it to the next level of sophistication and ease of use. The principle of the zero layer is a completely new and super intelligent way of achieving seamless human machine interaction. And the innovative use cases enhance the EQ experience for the driver and all the passengers. It had never been about creating something bigger, instead creating something innovative, valuable, and intelligent for our customers. We created specific screens with the perfect ratio of size and functionality to provide the greatest benefit to the user. This is customer centricity and digital thinking of 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, I can only agree, this screen is groundbreaking an entirely new and intuitive way to interact with technology. It fully lives up to where we're headed at Mercedes-Benz. Creating technology that is aesthetically beautiful, innovative, and supportive to us humans. Consequently, it will make its premiere later this year in our brand new and top of the line electric luxury sedan. The new EQS, a car that will boast an all-electric range of about 700 kilometers, which will provide passengers with lots of uninterrupted time to enjoy its beauty and its brains. I can't wait to see these two game changers come together in one vehicle for our customers. As you can see, we're doing all we can to make 2021 awesome and exciting. Thank you very much. Intelligent, emotional, and very customer-centric. You've got like an eight-core CPU, 17.7 inch in the middle screen. On the side, you've got 12.3, lots of data, technology. Uh, I would say watching the video. These magic modules are something which just comes in front of you and go back. It's like a AI modules, and they are just there when you need them. Navigation, phone, massage, lots of them, depend upon your use. Intelligent, lightsabers, and also very fascinating. Actually, all the seats, but the co-driver is the best. Yes! Nice try. Hello, everyone. This mysterious piece of technology right here is what we call our hyper screen. We actually made it out of glass. It forms the entire instrument panel of our all-new, all-electric EQS. What I love about it is the simplicity it offers, both driver and passenger. We designed its digital interface to put all necessary information at a mere finger's touch away. For example, the driver no longer has to search for submenus for controls. We also gave it a brilliant visual clarity that's pleasing to the eye. And for artificial intelligence, all of its functions adapt to the preference of the user. This is digitalization at its best, and it's coming to you in the Mercedes-Benz of the future. We will have more to come soon. Thanks so much for watching. Hi.